afternoon everyone dr renu vig vice chancellor punjab university dr rajnesh arora chairman national coordination committee of the induction program for students key resource persons dr sharan dr rajul asthana dr kumar sambhav chief coordinator from punjab university for organizing this program dr sanjay kaushik and coordinators professor latika sharma and professor manu sharma i am indeed happy and pleased to be amongst all of you in the audience who are attending this universal human values leadership development program organized by the punjab university let me reflect back on my own experiences in terms of what all i know about this program both as a individual recipient of this program and as a chairman of the all india council for technical education or even prior to that as a director of college of engineering pune my journey starts with uh, the year 2010 11 when i was a director at college of engineering pune dr sangal came once and that said that he organized such programs earlier in iit kanpur and then also in triple it hyderabad and i took a cue from out of that and then started thinking about it but i realized that i had had two great gurus in dr rajendra prasad and dr rishiraj gaur from iit delhi way back when i was a faculty in uh, in the early time in the what we call as northeastern regional institute of science and technology i used to come here to iit delhi for curriculum development in mechanical engineering and that time also i had learnt about human values program but much water had flown and i had already reached uh, now as the director of college of engineering pune i understood about this program and few of the elements i started introducing but come 2015 i came to ai city as its chairman and i came across this unique uh, universal human values program in the year 2017 and then said we need to experiment this and uh, we tried this initially in ai city amongst our own uh, you know group of people who were officers who had come from different parts of the country working in ai city as advisor as director as deputy director and we said we will take through this particular program ourselves and we got excited for multiple reasons this program in fact is universal it is absolutely rational all the elements that we deal with are verifiable and the concept is we all talk about happiness we all talk about harmony and this program leads to harmony at all levels harmony between human to human and that's why in our programs when we started online programs we said that it is not yourself but also your spouse should attend this program so that we will have what we call real harmony in the family as well so harmony in the family level harmony between the colleagues between humans to humans between the officer and the subordinates between uh, not only humans but also humans and animals we have to love our animals they are also creatures which are created by the almighty and also plants who have some life which is also proved by bos and then even non living non living entities like mountains and rivers and that means harmony with nature so harmony is a, a very important thing today we talk about through variety of things like sustainable development goals united nation is talking about uh, the environment and all of that all of that is directly or indirectly embedded in the universal human values program and this touched the hearts of ours and therefore we said this should be made mandatory for all the institutions we said the study of students should start with a induction program and we have designed a 3 week student induction program and we keep training our faculty in terms of uh, how to handle this and that is where uh, we started off in 2017 18 in a small way but by 2020 when the pandemic broke we had broken the ice but suddenly the challenge arose that uh, can we run this program when the pandemic is there so we innovated and said that we will use uh, the online medium 
and then uh, we started conducting this program for faculty who in turn would conduct for their respective students and I'm sure uh, most of the faculty who started onboarding the numbers grew exponentially because in a physical program we were able to handle 50 faculty here 200 then we even went up to 1000 faculty and we had exciting experience of our teachers going through this program they said first time we have realized the role of the teacher herself or himself and that's how transformation has begun and around the same time in 2020, 2020, our National Education Policy 2020 has also come, which has laid emphasis on two or three very important things. Values, universal human values, not the word probably used, but the value system, value-based education, which is all talked about. We also talked about Indian knowledge system. How do we integrate it in the curriculum? So our uh, whole exercise in AICT with the NCC IP team started with devising first the three-week student induction program, then an elementary course in universal human values, an advanced course in universal human values, graduating to also giving a minor degree in universal human values program. And how this can be brought into life, our whole life will be transformed, changed. And this is what we have heard, experienced from several people who went through this program, that earlier there used to be some scuffle and problem at family level that has overcome. We were not working in a, a, in a team, in a, in a college or university. Now we have started working as a team and it has given us benefit in terms of research publications, in terms of the manner in which we are able to project ourselves as an institution or an organization. I think there are lots of spin-off benefits. And some of the institutional heads have told that institutions where this has been adopted, uh, students do not create problems. In fact, they have become problem solvers rather than uh, you know strike or uh, saying that this does not work students have started trying to work out themselves so my experience has been in the value-based education starting with uh, value-based living what we need to do is all the colleges and universities need to adopt this program as their own program we also want that it should start with the schools and also at the family level and once we do it I'm going to tell you today that in another five years or ten years time, all the citizens of the country will be happy. They will all be treating each other with respect. And that is the contribution that is given by the coordinators who are organizing this program, as well as experts uh, who have been training all of us in this program. I'm uh, sure that there are about 100 odd people who are almost uh, all across the country volunteering to do this. Wherever there is a need, they come forward and do it. And I profusely thank Dr. Arora and his entire team of NCCIP who have been advocating this and then taking it forward. Namaskar and thank you for you and all the very best for this program. Namaskar.